This season has seen the return of one of the most popular men in tennis. Janko Tipsarovic's comeback from injury has been a very welcome one. I'm so happy that he he's back. He's a good friend of mine. I think if you look at it the right way, use it to sort of improve and get strong in a bunch of areas, uh, you could actually use it to your advantage a little bit. He has been top 10, so he has a certain goal that he wants to reach or he has a certain level he expects from himself and that's expectations is going to be a big thing. Coming back is never easy, but it's a challenge Tip Zarovic is determined to overcome. The worst part was the beginning because you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you don't know how long is this going to last. I'm very happy that I'm back. I'm very grateful to be able to play this sport again. But the one thing I didn't do in my career is make a, a comeback and I would really, really like to do that. Away from tennis for an agonizing 17 months, Janko wasn't lacking in support as he made his way back to action. I missed uh, all of the guys on tour. I missed especially, I call them brothers, from the Davis Cup team. And those were basically, apart from my family and my old friends, basically the only people that I was in touch with all the time. They were all the time sending me positive thoughts, emotions, just stay positive and all that stuff. But uh, I missed the tour. The positive encouragement was working. Those closest to Yanko were helping to make a difference. You have to make sure that he knows that you believe in him and that you have the trust that he will come back. And I think that Yanko is very much by himself motivated to come back and to play tennis. He loves to play tennis. So this was not very difficult. It's just more to give him the patience to keep on working, even if it's not um, looking as he wanted that it should look. A former world number eight, Tip Zarovic will be desperate to return to the higher echelons. But setting the right expectations early on is key first immediate goal would be to come back to the top 100 so that I don't have to ask for wild cards anymore or use my protected ranking. All the ATP 250s event were great to me. Every single event we ask a wild card for has, you know, come through. I think this year is important to um, get in his rhythm to get back and in the next year his um, goal um, always should be to look um, up. Um, I never like to name numbers uh, in rankings, but um, he's um, for sure um, able to play his best tennis in the future and not um, in the history. It's been a tough journey, but Janko Tipsarovic is back and determined to make the most of it. I feel I'm smarter for a year and a half. I am more aware that I have less time to lose. I'm so happy when I see like guys like Roger or David Ferrer still playing at the top of their game, which means that there is still hope for me. But uh, coming back to the top 10 would be a dream come true. I just need to stay healthy. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, who will reign in Spain? We'll have all the action from this year's Mutua Madrid Open. And scaling new heights, we catch up with a man playing better than ever, Spanish lefty Feliciano Lopez. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.